Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm making some clasps and I'm flattening the wire. You are going to start with some 18 gauge wire. I'm using 2 inches to do a simple clasp. We're going to take our beadalon looping pliers and just do a little loop. So we want that loop to be closed and then we are going to go to the other side and do the larger loop with a larger area of the looping pliers. It looks a bit like an infinity sign and then we need to clip the ends so they are flush. So just give it a little clip to close up that end. We're going to use our tweezer nose. Next we're going to do the hook so cut a slightly longer piece of wire I'm cut about three inches, always better too long than too short. We're going to do a tiny loop on one end. I'm actually going to squeeze it to make it a little bit smaller. This is just to finish off the end. And then we'll get our looping pliers to make the hook part. So we're just going to bring it around to form the hook. And then from there, we need to do a little loop on the other end. So we'll take a, another part of the looping pliers to match the loop on the other side of the clasp and we're going to do a little loop there. And then we're going to cut it flush. So this is a very simple style hook. And from there we're going to pinch that end down so it's flat. So that's our basic hook and the loop and then to flatten it, I'm using a steel block and a chasing hammer and I'm just hammering it flat. Just keep turning it over, do a little bit on each side and then the, do the same with the hook. And we can also, if you want, use a rolling mill for this, but I just use the hammer for this project. And then we need to bend it at a half turn so the hook is up and the loop is perpendicular. So that's the only little adjustment we have to make. You don't have to do anything on the other loop side. And then these just go together. Just hook it in there for a basic clasp. So for the second one, we're going to take a longer piece of the 18 gauge wire, about five or six inches, and we are going to start by doing the loop and then we're going to get another longer piece and we're going to make the hook. So before we've done the spiral, we're just going to set them up and then we're going to measure them together. So we're going to pinch that in as we did with the first hook, pinch that little tiny loop in to make it as small as you can and then get the looping pliers and form your hook. So we'll just bring that around to form the hook. And then we're going to put the two wires together. This is a little hack to make sure the spirals are the same size. So we'll just put those two together, line them up, and then we're going to measure about two and a quarter inches. Depends on how big you want your spirals. That's a good size. And then clip the ends flush. So now you're ready to make your spirals. So take the end of the wire with a very small round nose pliers. I'll link up all my tools in the description below the video. And we're just going to work our way in. This copper wire is quite smooth and soft. This is bare copper from the artistic wire. So we're just going to bring it in bring it around to form that spiral. So just work it in there and keep pushing it. And you can finish that with your thumb and your finger. Press it down with the flat pliers. Do any little adjustments that you need to make sure it's even. And there's a little space in there you need to hold a jump ring later. So now we're going to do the spiral on the other side. So we're going to just bring it 
in as we did with the first one, holding the loop with your thumb and finger and bringing the wire around with the pliers. Just a little flick of the wrist, bring it around, rotate it right around. And then use your thumb and finger if you need to adjust it a little more. So these are how the pieces are looking before we flatten them. So then we can hammer them to get them a little bit flat flip it over. Another way is to hold the end with pliers and just brush the hammer out a little bit so you don't scuff it or you can also put a piece of metal so you don't get little lines on your piece. This is sheet metal. So then once you've done that, if you need to close up the little gaps you can with your pliers. Just do any little adjustments that you need. And with the hook, close it up. And then you do need to bend it up perpendicular so it sits nicely as a clasp. So just do that little adjustment with your flat pliers. Center it. Make sure it's nice and even. Just keep adjusting it as you need. And then they'll just hook in together like that. And to show you, there's room for a jump ring. That's how you would attach it to your piece. You want to make sure you've left enough space there in the spiral to add that jump ring. And just close it up. I just made the jump rings with the same wire. And there you have your clasp with the jump rings ready to go. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.